going to uh, adjust the length of this arrow. I was talking to Gloria D and she told me that uh, the arrow would be 20 inches long, 21, 22 inches long. And uh, so that would make it 12 inches for this arrow, which means I'm going to cut about 4 inches off of this arrow to make it the right length for a uh, horseback war arrow or a war arrow. Uh, what it would be is if you put your two palms of your hands, let's see, together like this and you put the arrow in your hands, the arrow would come to the tip of your fingers and the butt of the arrow would be here at your chest. And uh, so that, I took this, which is a laser device for measuring, and went like that and it was 20 inches. Also the I'm going to be doing a shield, and the shield would be the width of the shoulders. And depending on the type of uh, shield, dance shield or war shield, it would either be flat or concave. And the reason it would be concave is because it would deflect uh, things uh, shot at it. Oh, and also, she told me that these fluffs would not be on a younger man's uh, war bonnet or on his bonnet. And the reason why is because this indicated a senior citizen. So I'm taking these off. They would also have, I'll show you, on an old man's uh, bonnet there'd be not only the fluff and maybe horse hair, but there'd be a, a flat piece of uh, round uh, leather painted white or be a white piece of leather and it would uh, show up brightly on the feathers and that would uh, if you were in a group of uh, warriors or gentlemen in, a, in a, some kind of ceremony or whatever if you saw that you knew that the guy in front of you was one of the seniors in the tribe a senior warrior and so you'd be very careful because you showed respect to the senior unlike what kids do nowadays. So I'm going to take all these fluffs off because he's not an old warrior, he's just a young man in his 20s. And uh, I'm going to get started on the hand and uh, the width of the hand would be about the distance between the uh, bottom of the chin to the top of the uh, underside of the nose and that's just about perfect. The uh, length of the palm from the bottom of the palm to the uh, fingers would be about half head length which would be about there and so that's about right and the length of the pointing finger the middle finger would be the same distance as the length of the palm and so that's just about right right to there where I put that piece of clay uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this and uh, we'll see how it goes I'm going to leave the arrow in place for now. Now I could normally cut the hand off and work on it separately or even cut the arm off and work on it separately, separately. but I've decided not to and it's just a personal preference. Uh, but if uh, you uh, have a true form armature uh, you can certainly do that because they've designed it so you can do that. All right, I'm going to have to cut the hand off because I can't work this high up. And uh, so I'm just going to cut it right at the wrist and take the hand off. <sighs> I hope you guys can see it okay. And uh, Get my reference for hands up here. Need to raise that up just a little bit. I'll uh, see. I'm going to take that and uh, Make that the uh, knuckle right there. Go ahead and proceed.
Now my hands are a little chubby, but uh, I can at least see how the uh, finger reacts to this positioning. My thumb. to that side. working on the tendons primarily right now and uh, 
trying to get those done. This is the thick part of the, uh, the bone here, of the ulna. Alright, I put the uh, warrior up here on the sculpting stand and uh, he's in proportion and you know when you got the thing down low and you're looking at it from that perspective for too long you start thinking okay maybe it might be off when I get it up there where I can see that eye level but it really is working and uh, make sure that arrow goes around without touching the uh, wall uh, doing fine now, I'm going to be working on the back, but first I think what I'm going to do is redo this part here um, where the wrinkles are being blown that way when the wind is actually coming this way. And so I'm going to work on that. They're buried with all the other crap from all the other pieces I've done this last couple of months is my pasta machine. I haven't had a week to take off to clean this studio in a long time. I, I recently showed pictures on my Facebook page of famous artist studios and, and one artist had uh, such a clean studio. I mean literally spotless. I gotta make this flat about double its width right now. So I'm going to get my knife if I can find it amongst all this garbage. Yeah and uh, cut the flap and figure out how wide I want it. I want it that wide. I'm going to blend it in to the other flap or flap piece and flip it over and blend it into the other half. double the uh, thickness of this by doing another flap the same size and putting it on top of this one. Now if this was leather, it would be the two halves of the skin brought together. and. Uh, This just shows additional movement in the clothing, which helps with the uh, theme of the wind. And what I'm doing right now is I'm filling in the deep crevice, because you don't want deep crevices. It makes them too hard to clean, and molds don't always work well with them. As you can see, I've uh, finished off his hand up here and, and did that, redid the arrow. I worked on the arm, the upper part of the arm, which you did not see because of the fact that it was, my body hit everything, so I just stopped recording. Um, put it up on the stand, worked on these uh, flaps, 
here and uh, got those. I'm going to finish off the legs uh, tomorrow and the, the moccasins and finish off this robe here and then uh, work on his back and this arm and hand. And I'm going to add on Wednesday a shield here with feathers uh, flying off of it. I mean, not flying off, but you know, blowing in the breeze. The uh, bow and quiver, which will be here underneath the shield. And I don't know how much of it will show because the arrows are short. Um, but uh, got this all worked out, the musculature and the tendons going into the hand. That worked out well. I changed the position of this and this so that it's more out and showing on this side of the piece. And that, that worked out well. Took the fluffs off the top. To, uh, kind of like I said, work on the arm tomorrow. Changed the uh, direction of the, uh, the uh, wind affected wrinkles in the blanket. And D, I mean, I didn't do as many wrinkles because quite honestly, it's a trade blanket and it's doubled over. So it wouldn't show a lot of uh, effect of a small wind. So that's going to be it for tonight. And, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Whew. What a day.